Morena Dato, it's day one of the water field trip and you're currently on your way down Highway 73 to the Central Plains Water Sheffield Storage Pond. Today is all about finding out where the water comes from and how it is taken to be used for irrigation. So it's going to be an interesting day. I look forward to seeing you soon at the storage pond. Well, I said we're going to the Sheffield storage pond. We will get you there in a moment. But here's Elizabeth, who's the CEO, the Chief Executive Officer for Irrigation New Zealand. And behind us is an irrigator. And if you listen, you can hear it going. It sounds a bit like rain on the stuff. What do you call the stuff out in the paddock here? Uh, this is fodder beet. Fodder beet, also known as? Mango wurzel. <laughs> I like the second name better. Now Elizabeth, this is a field trip about water and regarding irrigation. I thought we'd better start off by asking, what is irrigation? So at its simplest, irrigation is when people use water to grow plants. So ever since uh, civilizations have been around, people have moved water around to help us grow things. So a lot of schools have school gardens uh, where you'll use water to help grow plants or you'll put water on your plants at home to grow pot plants or tomatoes or lettuces and it's just the same on farms. So in a lot of places um, there isn't enough rainfall to support plant growth uh, all the summer long and so we need to use irrigation water to help those plants grow. Yeah, because I was going to ask, you know, why can't we just let it rain? You know, why do we need irrigation? So irrigation essentially supplements when we don't have enough rainfall. So sometimes we don't need to irrigate. Uh, before Christmas it rained an awful lot and so farmers weren't using any irrigation but then after Christmas in areas like this it started to get more dry and so farmers started to use water to put it on their paddocks to grow crops. And I guess that kind of creates a bit more of a guarantee when you've got water available if it's not going to rain you can kind of guarantee that those crops are going to grow. That's right so um, Irrigation in New Zealand is really important for helping us grow lots of different things. So we grow grass and fodder beet and other fodder crops like the one behind us. Um, and that's for animals like um, cows to eat. Uh, and that feeds the cows so that they can produce milk for us to drink. Or to produce uh, meat uh, for, from beef cows or sheep that provide wool that we use for our jumpers and our socks um, and also sheep meat as well. So New Zealand has an important part to play in feeding the world and irrigation is an important part of that so that we can grow um, the crops for the animals and also to grow food. So we grow wheat and we use the grain from that wheat to make bread. Uh, we grow a lot of fruits and vegetables. We grow uh, grapes that we use to make wine. And also irrigation water gets used for things like frost fighting. Um, so some um, plants like grapes and apples are very sensitive to really cold weather mm. and so we actually put water on the fruit to protect it from the frost. All right, so lots of different uses. A really important thing, so now we're going to head up to the Central Plains Water Sheffield Storage Pond and see what that's all about up there. Thanks Elizabeth. Thank you. <laughs> 